Robotics is not an official school sport at Harrisburg High School, but it does operate as a club activity. It is made up of 52 kids on 12 teams, but this year one team stands out. That group recently returned home from the Robotics World Championship in Dallas, and they came back with some new hardware. Cordell Wright with their story for us tonight. Competition and teamwork can bring out the best in us. All of these awards are from both head-to-head -head competition, uh, judging, and robot skills. Along with dedication. Every single day when we get home from school, we work on it. We've put in hundreds of hours of work each year. Micah Schaefer, Ian Bruggeman, and the rest of their team have been attending robotics competitions for years, winning some trophies along the way. Uh, we're still getting better. I think we won six, then five the next year, and then 11. But this year, it all started coming together. This year, we could tell something was different. The group took first place at the state meet, qualifying them for the VEX Robotics World Championship, where hundreds of teams across the globe battle it out. The field, broken into 10 divisions with 80 teams each. It took nine elimination matches to get there uh, to world champions. As the parents, you know, we're taking photos, videos, thinking this could be the last match, and well, no, it wasn't. And we just kept going and going and going and right until the end. This was the moment where all of their hard work would pay off and they brought home the title world champions. To know that we were one of like 50 teams ever to, to achieve a world status is pretty cool. We as a team brought it home for South Dakota, for Harrisburg, and for the USA, uh, competing against tons of international teams. The group's time working together has come to a close. However, as individuals, it's the start of a new beginning. So SDCU currently doesn't have a team. Only School of Minds does right now. And I want to change that. I want to beat School of Minds. Having the engineering mindset, learning all those principles, has definitely led me to the place where I am, where I want to do engineering in college and uh, as a future career. And with 52 kids, Tiger Robotics Club should only continue to expand. These guys are graduating, they're on their way out, but I think we have a strong base. Hopefully, you know, build upon these guys' legacy.